I think I just solved cloth and I think this deck is actually competitively viable. If you don't know, I just competed in the European International Championships and this deck was actually one of the decks that I was considering for the tournament. It's not perfect, there's a few reasons why I didn't play it, but this deck might just be the deck for you. In this video, I'll explain how this deck works and then I'll show you a game of me playing this deck. Hope you enjoy. So there's quite a lot going on with this deck, so let me just quickly explain everything. So we've got Cloth, and the main synergy with this deck that makes it different from every Cloth deck I've ever seen in this format is we're running Cramorant, Colrus, Lost Vacuum, and Crisis Punch. So the Cramorant is mainly just here as another attacker to uh, Cloth, because the thing is you only have four double turbos per game, so you need another attacker. And Cramorant does enough damage to, with Cloth and Poison and Sneezer and Cavalion, you can two-shot everything in the format. Um, with Cloth into Cramorant. So it means you can get free attacks off. Cramorant also one-shots a lot of things, one-shots a lot of Lost Zones things. And we run Cabalion in this deck, so we can one-shot these baby Roaring Moons as well, which is really important with the Cramorant. Um, but basically how the deck works is you attack first, you attack every turn, and you win. And sometimes, if you even if you do attack second, um, we can use Gust Cards and Crisis Punch, or even just Crisis Punch on its own, to finish out games um, by taking one-shots. Crisis Punch does 280 damage, and the interesting thing with this deck is we can actually buff that really, uh, buff that a lot with Brute Bonnet and Sneasler um, to get more damage, etc, etc. We and So basically, if you look at this deck and you play this deck for literally one game, you'll realize that it, uh, it functions very similarly to Ancient Box. Um, you just play these Pokemon that do a lot of damage, they're single prize, they get knocked out easily, but that doesn't matter because you just kill stuff, right? Um... But there are a few differences. One of them is that Cloth has weakness on Iron Hands. Iron Hands can be a pretty tricky matchup for Ancient Box. Um, but if we just attack every turn with Cloth, we're always beating them. Um, we also have Lost Vacuums, which Ancient Box can't play. And Lost Vacuum is a really good, strong card. Um, good disruption card. Really strong disruption card. More than it seems. You can get rid of Stadiums, Literate Forest Seal Stones, any um, tools on board, which a lot of these decks actually rely on tools. Heavy Baton from Iron Hands. Um, definitely one of them. Um, and I think the draw supporters in this deck are a little bit better. You run Ionos and Colrus, um, which is, Colrus is better at Explorer's Guidance, Iono is better than Sardas, I think we can all admit that. Um, the core issue is, you're a little bit less consistent. Um, I personally dropped this deck because I didn't really seem consistent enough at attacking. Sometimes you just get blown out and Bidoof dies early, you go second. Some decks can kill your Bidoof on turn two and that really sucks. Because you kind of have to hit Cloth, DT, Brew Bonnet, and Ancient Booster Capsule on turn two, uh, which are quite specific cards. Uh, or hit Colrus, Lost Vacuum, Cramorant, which is also pretty specific. And alongside this, if you start Badoo for Brew Bonnet, Sneasel, Cavalian, any of these, you have to find Switch as well, which is why I run such a high Switch count in this. Three Switch plus the Prime Catcher. Um, so that's not great, but. You can also fit in a Barrel Engine into this, which is pretty important. Um, and so now if we talk about matchups, against something like Charizard, they're now running a lot more Turos. That does make it a little bit more annoying, but it's definitely a winnable matchup. And the game I'm going to show you in this video is of me playing against Charizard uh, and see how that matchup goes. But you're taking two shots every turn. Uh, you can take one shots here and there. You can even up your prize trade. You can uh, kill Rotom and Luminion at basically any point with Prime Catcher, Counter Catcher. Uh, so even if you do go behind, uh, you can come back that way. And then obviously the Crisis Punch, this whole combo with Crisis Punch on Cramorant, making it completely free. And then being able to use Brute Bonnet plus Sneasel plus Cabalion um, does 340 damage, one shots Charizard. Um, and then a lot of other matchups, like let's say Lugia, um, you could just uptrade into them. You almost always get to, almost always get to attack first into them. And if you do, you can just uptrade the whole game. You have no problems. Uh, because it's really easy once you get the first attack to continue attacking with the Barrel Engine, the Iron Draw cards, the Colrus, you have Pokegears to find the supporters, which are really good. Uh, shoes as well for the late game. Ultra Balls to thin down your hand, Vacuum to thin down your hand. All these cards are really, really good. So, um, Other matchups like Tina, uh, Lost Zone and stuff like this can be really tricky. So, so does Champau. You have Iono and you have a few ways to get around things. You can one-shot their Iron Hands if they go for it early, but you definitely have some risk if they go for it later and we don't have... Really great ways to one-shot, or any ways at all, to be honest. If you play the Dangerous Jungle, you can one-shot a Chen Pao, but it's not really needed overall. Um, we got Artisans in here. We got four Booster Capsule to just put on the Brew Bonnet, made the highest odds of finding it, and then Artisans to get Pokemon out. Because the thing is, a lot of 
decks in this format actually struggle to bump artists and quickly. So if you get like two, three Pokemon off the artists, and it does have higher value than the Nest Ball. Uh, also, bumping other stadiums is really important. Something you'll find in this deck if you play it is collapsed is a pretty big problem. Not just because your opponent can heal Pokemon, but also because you have to discard something. So having artists in it also refreshes your Pokemon after collapse. So it's really important for that. Um, but yeah, that's the concept of the deck. Let me show you this deck in action. Okay, cloth draw is really good. Okay, just slam some stuff on the board. Slam some stuff down and pass. We can ultra off of a battle next turn and hopefully to draw supporter. What's up, pixeled? So we get the kill on their one pitchy next turn, which could be helpful if they don't do anything, don't clef or anything. Could definitely clef though. That's so what happens. Puffin, Choice Belt, yep. Try the Nogati for me. I'm a Zod main these days, but... Playing some Cloth, because I think Dex, Dex cool and good. Burnett Guardi looks fun. I don't think the Burnett part of the deck is very good, to be completely honest. <sighs> that kind of bricked, though. I think we just got the DT to hold the vacuum, to be honest. All good. We just need to chorus into a tool card. That's all we need. Just praying to draw supporter here. Literally any draw supporter. We'll take anything. Basically just need to hit a draw supporter or like switch thing. <sighs> we eat everything. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. We get to get rid of their only Pidgey, which is super good for us because it cuts off all the disruption, which is really nice. I don't think we need Nest Ball. Nest Ball's probably better than the Chorus, though, to be honest. Need to hold the Brew Bonnet, though, because we're a little bit scared of uh, some stuff. So this gets Bidoof. We can get Cabalion down next turn. And I think we just go for the Poison route because I don't really have the cards in hand to use Lost Vacuum. I don't really want to. I think we just go the Cloth route. Okay, we're in a really good spot here. <clears throat> that my luck. Skill diff. We had like the the shoes and stuff, but you know, that was pretty fortunate. So he takes a prize here and we get to Iron Home to five, which is really nice. And then we can just start slamming down these Charmanders, Charizards, etc. We can also go Artisan, then Lost Vacuum the Artisan if we get it, like, decent top deck to attack with Cramorant, and we can Artisan for the Cabalion, which we really need to start getting two shots down. Him not having Pidgey makes it so difficult for him to, um, his Arvin, makes it really difficult for him to start, uh, to Turo's ever, really, or even play Collapsed, so. That goes a good matchup spread or Cloth just goes hard? Cloth, honestly, it's it's a straightforward Cloth deck, but I think the matchup spread is pretty solid, but it is mainly just Cloth going hard, to be honest. To be honest. Okay, Puffin, that's fine. Bit of Pidgey, that's fine. Let's see what he goes for. See if he, okay, he just has the Candy's art. Oh, that's so annoying. The fact that he got the Poffin as well. But it's still fine. We get to Iron Home to 5. We can Artisan. We can draw. We can make sure we can Cramorant. We're chilling. We can block him from ever using Artisan. It's definitely not just better. I wouldn't classify it as just better. But it might be slightly better. Or like better in different matters and stuff like that. So. So I'm Legend. What's up Lost Sod? What's up? What's up? I'm doing great. But yeah, you, you're right. It's very similar to Ancient Box. Okay, Ultra Pulse is a good top deck. Okay. So we just get Cloth down. We're going to need that next turn. Oh, no, no. We get Cabalion because we need that now. <laughs> and we can get down Cloth after. We have a bunch of switches, so there's no problem here. Again, I'm going to get rid of this Ultra Ball. Not Ultra Ball for Barrel because I don't think we need it. And just ship Iono. <clears throat> Hopefully we just hit cloth. 
Okay, other one's all right. Shoe. I kind of need to take this. Yeah, but I'll take it. I want to get cloth because it makes things a lot easier for me. I'm just going to burn these poker gears. Burn these poker gears. Bit for two. Cloth. Yeah, we get switch. Cloth. We can always artisan switch next turn, so it's no big deal anyways, but... Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, just poison and hit for 140, put it to 160. So if he doesn't hit a lot and just has to kill me this turn, put in a pretty good spot. The thing is he can't, he's in such a bad spot here that he really, realistically, can never uh, bench Rotom or Lumi for the rest of the game without immediately losing, which is means it's really unlikely he gets Pidgeot ever here. So that's what we're hoping for, is that it, we basically fade Pidgeot for the whole game. Okay. We did Ultra Ball away this DT early. It's pretty annoying. Yo, lost Art, thank you for the tier one, bro. Actual goat. Thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna play Artisan here because Artisan doesn't do anything for him anymore, so we can just burn this. The issue is we are burning a lot of outs to um what's it called? Uh, I think we should go for Cram here. Yeah. Cram battle. We can also have Prime Catcher Cram if we can't hit the KO on this as well. I think Iron Wing to four is just fine. We get a new hand, he gets a new hand. Should be fine. Okay, we have the DT. <coughs> I'll read the read message. I'll read the sub in a second. Hold up. Hold up. I don't think we need to do anything. Counter catcher isn't worth playing. I could go switch counter catcher Pidgey actually. I don't think that's worth it. Just poison KO. Force him to hit another Charizard. So we have one more cloth attack for the rest of the game, but that should be fine. We should be able to go um, hit with Cramorant, kill with cloth, and then finish off the game after that with Cramorant. Yo, Lossard. Thank you for the tier one and the, the gifted bro. Actual goat. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Okay. Ultra Ball, maybe hopefully for the barrel. That would be a great sign for us. Anything's fine there. Yo, lost side. Thank you for the tier one. Lumi. Okay, we can do a Lumi. The question is, is he going to collapse this turn? No collapse this turn. We are so chilling. But uh, if he does collapse this turn, then we have slightly, we have some problems, but not big problems, to be honest. Rocks to Lumi for rocks this is going so badly for him. He has to collapse like ASAP. And we have Insta Prime Catcher here if we can hit DTE. He has to seal stone off the rocks. But let's see what that gets him. If it's only for Kenny Charizard, then we can... I don't know, we have pretty good plays. Bro's desperate. He's absolutely desperate. It's so true. So if we can just kill the Pidgey for one prize here, we're, we put ourselves in a pretty good spot. Yeah, it looks like he's just going candy this. Yeah, so we just kill the Pidge next turn, and then eventually we'll be able to counter catch up a game, and we have a lot of time. <coughs> I could just wait a turn and punch the Zod, but I think Prime Catchering now and then playing Iron Air, getting rid of the... Actually, probably not the Pitch, probably the Bidoof. More scared of this than this, for sure. See if he has Collapse. Hopefully he doesn't. Mm, we'll see. Hopefully not Collapsed. I would insta-slam Collapsed. He would, he would instantly slam Collapsed here if he had it. He does not have shit. Okay. So now we just set up for either the Crisis Punch win or the um, other win. 
And we just, yeah, kill the doof. Either the Crisis Punch win or the just the Kill Lumi win with Kanakacha. He doesn't play Eri. He plays no way to disrupt my thingo. Okay, we can just Nest Ball, get the Cloth down. You can ask him for it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I am annoying him to three as well. Yeah, I like Prime Catcher on Bidoof. It's just the the least easiest way for him to draw cards, so we want to get rid of that. Okay, Iron Arrow. I could have drawn pre Iron Arrow possibly. I don't know if it was actually good. My the the issue might okay. I was gonna say the issue might become that we need to find our final DT, but I don't think so. Uh, definitely not anymore. I will need to attack with cloth at some point, so I can't really keep this. We'll keep it. It, get, it lets me draw more with the battle, so it's decent. Okay, KO. Wait, do I still have cry? I should have crisis in there. I should check. <laughs> I should definitely know that for sure. How many switch do I have left? Two switch? Yo, Lossard. Turo on the Minion. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> now we're just going for a two shot on this Charizard. Slash. Uh, lots of options here. Slash Crisis. Slash whatever we basically want to do here. Ideally, we would find Super Rod this turn. So I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two. Ultra Ball away these two to start. We're going to hold this Booster Capsule in our hand for basically the entire turn. Hopefully we hit Iron at a two. That would be very nice. Um, I don't need to bench Cloth. Dude, you're going hard, bro. I'll, I'll, yeah. Actual goat, goat behavior. Okay, so I want Ultra Ball away, Claw Fruit Bonnet, Lost Vacuum, the Barrel, and then draw, attach DT and draw. Okay, Ultra Ball these. Oh wait, we don't have Radiant Sneeze Learn deck. Is it Lost Owned? No, is it discarded? Yes. Okay, so we can get it back. That's fine. We have both rods left. Okay, we're chilling. We have one Iono, zero Poke Gears. I would love to hit Iono, but if we don't, we're still fine. Definitely don't need third barrel for sure. He doesn't have anything on his board, no. Okay. Draw four. I need to lock in. Hold up, hold up. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. One sec. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Okay. So we go super odd. Bring back. Cram ramp. Brew bonnet. Rad sneeze law. The only issue is we might be putting counter catch at the bottom, but that'll be fine. We have enough. Ways to shuffle. Lossard, you're my goat, bro. You're my actual goat. So if he just has candy, Zardy loses. If he just has Turo's candy, he loses. Um, he needs Turo's... Yeah, he can't do anything. He needs Turo's candy, Prime Catcher. The only way he survives, I think, is Turo's candy, Prime Catcher. It's literally the only... Oh, he's only out. Turo's candy, Prime Catcher, kill uh, Babarel. Oh, actually, he can kill any... No, 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 not Babarel. Kill Cabalion, Cramorant, or Aubrey Bonnet. Super Rod's a really good sign for us. Iron is perfect. Yeah, we're chilling. <clears throat> we're so chilling. Yeah, I guess he's just not going to attack here. Just like retreat to Clef and draw. I guess it's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I just pass here to be honest. Nah, I can't pass. 
It is actually kind of annoying that I have to kill this and I don't have any more ghast. This is where like a boss would be sick, but... Yeah, the issue is we actually might lose this if I attack this turn. And the thing is I can't just pass Revit because I'm going to deck out. Maybe he doesn't realize and just kills the cloth. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I mean, if he just kills Cloth, we win. But the issue is, yeah, if he goes counter capture on literally anything else, we lose. Can I do anything about it? No, right? I think I just have to KO. Just bluff. Down four air and air. Ah, my god. I can't believe... I can't believe I lost to this retreat clever play. Because, okay. If I pass, I get counter catcher. But the thing is, he can just draw a pidget, like build his hand, and then attack. If I'm not attacking. Because he's never just going to feed me anything. I think I just have to attack. And just hope he doesn't have Gust or doesn't realize what's going on. There's a good chance he doesn't realize, but... Uh, I don't love this. Switch cram. No, no, no. I need him to kill the cloth. The If he kills the cloth, then I have Crisis Punch, Sneezla, uh, Brit, Brit Bonnet, uh, one shot on the Charizard. But it, if he kills Cramorant, Cabalion, or Brit Bonnet. Maybe he goes kill Barrel actually. Hopefully he goes Iono, kill Barrel, Because that probably gives us the greatest chance. I have to discard Barrel. Uh, wait. I probably should discard Cabalion because obviously I can still hit. Um, yeah, it doesn't reveal everything if I discard Cabalion. Because I can still hit Vacuum plus uh, everything, plus Super Rod and all that. And I, I should be guaranteed to draw everything, and I have everything in deck, so. Lost back is fine. He's going to lost back the tool of my Brute Bonnet. Hopefully, he's just killing my active, though. As long as he's killing my active, I'm fine. Or killing Babarrel. Either one of those is completely fine. I just really can't beat anything else. Leave me for what? For just Arvin? I know it's fine as well. I can draw everything. Hopefully Arvin vulnerable. For rocks, rocks just doesn't do anything because I've double bib. Just don't really care. Okay, ultra ball. This should be fine. I think he's just killing my active. Yeah, the cat <laughs> showing up. I should have a vac. I don't think I guard all my vacs. Yeah, I have multiple vacs. Jewel Charizard, please do not gust my gust my Cramorant or Brit Bonnet. Please just care my active, man. Please just kill my active. Please, dude. Or kill Bib. I'm fine with kill Bib as well. Any of that is fine. Yep. Yes. Okay, we should be good. Double Bib in play. We should have no risk here. I know second Super Rod's in deck, so we can get back Cavalian. Okay, bring up Bib. Okay, we can just play Nest Ball because name of the game is just drawing as much as possible here. We don't need that. We have an Ultra Ball. We have a Vac. Yeah, we have everything. Yeah, so we just go draw three. Yeah, this is guaranteed.
and Crisis Punch for three thirty. Let's go, bro. <clears throat> Sheesh. <clears throat> Let's go, man. Sheesh. Holy. Oh, dude, that is so nice. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that, bro. It actually just doesn't get better than Cram Crisis Punch with Poison on a Charizard for 330, bro. Let's go, man. <clears throat>